In this video, we're going to be looking at intersections of images and pre-images of functions. And this is based on the problem from our textbook that is shown below. Please stop the video and read this particular problem before continuing. So in this problem, we are asked to determine which of these two statements is true and which of them is false, and then prove our answers are correct. It turns out that the first statement that the image of x intersect y is equal to the intersection of the image of f, the image of x, and the image of y is false. Now to prove a statement is false, all I need is a counterexample, and the counterexample is going to be based on this function. I'm going to let f of x simply be x squared. We're going to let the set x be 1 comma 2, and we're going to let the set y be 1, the set containing 1 and negative 2. Well, this of course says that x intersect y is the singleton set containing just 1. Now all I have to do at this point is calculate f of x, calculate f of y, and calculate f of x intersect y. Well, f of x is going to be 1 squared, 2 squared. So that will be the set containing 1 and 4. f of y will be the set 1 squared, negative 2 squared. That will also be the set containing 1 and 4. So that says f of x intersect f of y is the set containing 1 and 4. But f of x intersect y is f of the set containing 1, and that's just going to be the set containing 1 squared, which is, of course, the set containing 1, and that is not the same as the set containing 1 and 4, and hence we know that this statement up here is indeed false. Well, what I now want to do is move on to looking at the second part of the problem. It turns out that the second statement, the pre-image of x intersect y is equal to the pre-image of x intersected with the pre-image of y, <coughs> is true. Now, to prove these two sets are true, <coughs> we can do a double inclusion proof. So the first direction, I want to show, let me write the word show there, because I want to make it clear what I'm doing. I want to show that f intersect x, rather, that the pre-image of x intersect y is a subset of the pre-image of x intersected with the pre-image of y. So I'm going to let a be inside the pre-image of x intersect y. What this says is that f of a has to be inside x intersect y. And that's enough to say that f of a is definitely inside x and f of a is definitely inside y. Because the only way f of a can get inside this set is for it to be inside both of these things. But now we're ready to continue on. This statement here and this statement here can be rewritten as follows. F, uh, this can be rewritten as A belongs to the pre-image of X, and this statement can be rewritten as A belongs to the pre-image of Y. And now if I think about set theory, this statement here, that A belongs to the pre-image of X and the pre-image of Y, that is the saying that A belongs to the intersection of the two sets. So A belongs to the pre-image of X intersected with the pre-image of Y, and our first direction is done. So now what we need to do is we need to show the other inclusion. So, now show. 
that the pre-image of X intersected with the pre-image of Y is a subset of the pre-image of X intersected with Y. So again, what I'm going to do is I will start by picking an arbitrary element inside the set that I want to show as a subset. And our goal, of course, is to show that A belongs to this set here. So what I want to be thinking about is what this statement means. This says A belongs to this particular element, th this particular set. A is part of the pre-image of X, and A is also part of the pre-image of the set Y, and that should be a capital Y here. So let me make my notation better. And now I want to be thinking about what these two statements say. Well, A is inside the pre-image of X, says F of A belongs to the set X. And A is inside the pre-image of Y, means F of A, Y. So that says F of A belongs to X intersect Y, but f of a belongs to x intersect y, says a is indeed part of the pre-image of x intersect y. And so the second inclusion is done. In other words, this inclusion right here is done. So I'm going to check that. And we will finally just write a little conclusion. So we now know that the pre-image of x intersect y and the pre-image of X intersected with the pre-image of Y are indeed the exact same set. <laughs>